Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. My name is Kwame and I help you take better pictures and videos with your phone, tablet, or camera. Today we're gonna continue the series on Snapseed quick tips and look at the rotate and transform tools. So to get to these tools, we hit the little pin or pencil down in the right hand corner and we'll first go to rotate. Uh, rotate basically does what it says it does. It enables you to straighten the photo so that any sloping horizons are flat while the vertical lines stand tall instead of leaning over. And in this tool, either moving your finger up and down or left and right does the same thing. So the, there is only one option, which is to rotate your image. Again, if you double tap on the middle, it brings it back to the original, um, uh, in this, this case, rotation. So if you just want to rotate your picture 90 degrees, you have the two half circles uh, here on the left and right. So if you click on the left one, it rotates your image 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. Pretty self-explanatory. If you want to change the angle, straighten out your, your horizon or something like that, you can move your finger left or right again or up and down and get the correct angle uh, that you want to straighten your image. So if you want to do that, let's say this image looks straightened to me, I hit the little check mark and it would save that change. So now going to the transform tool, there's three options in the uh, transform tool here. You have your vertical perspective, horizontal perspective, and rotational perspective. So the vertical lets you change the perspective that the picture was taken uh, vertically. So in this case, you can go up and down. And w in this tool in particular, when you do a, let's say, if you look at the top here, you see the black triangles in the top left and right, or if you go to the left, you'll see them in the bottom half of the screen. Snapseed will actually try to fill in that, those triangles. So if you look here, the before and the after, you will see that it actually tried to fill in those triangles. Now it does a pretty good job if your image had, you know, like in this case, the sky, it did a pretty good job filling in the sky. If you now look down at the bottom here at the building, it, this is where it has a little tougher time when there's a lot going on in the picture. So you just have to kind of remember that. Um, if I was going to do this and let's say I like this, I would save this out and then just crop this part out. So I would crop the image down to where this part uh, what was not shown the part that was uh, filled in by Snapseed. So we double tap, it changes that back to zero. So for this picture, I will probably, uh, we'll do this and we'll say that looks good. And then moving my finger up, we'll we have the horizontal perspective. Again, the same thing, it can move left to right. Again, you will see the um, uh, black triangles at the top there where and it will fill in that um, that those areas again sometimes it does a great job other times uh, you'll have to fix that I would say you know make sure you look at that because it it's better to look at it at it now and make the appropriate adjustments well other than you print the image you get it back and then you realize oh the part that it filled in it looks horrible and then the third option is the rotational um, transform. Now this is a little bit different than the rotate tool. The rotate tool will move the bounding box of the image at trimming off parts of your picture where the rotational option will allow the black triangles to appear and again Snapseed will try to fill them in. So if I wanted to rotate this, right, you can see at the corners there's the black triangles where 
Snapseed will let you keep more of your image. So let's say I wanted to rotate it like this. It's gonna try to fill in, again, those uh, corners. Again, like I said, Snapseed does a very good job for being a mobile app, but overall, you know, if there, again, if there's any, uh, a lot of uh, subjects in your picture or it's a really busy area, it doesn't fill in that, uh, those, those triangles as well as something like a Lightroom or Photoshop would do. So then when you're done here, looking at your picture, you would just hit the check mark, save, and it will save out your changes. Uh, again, just make sure when you're looking at the, uh, especially for the transform at the areas where Snapseed fills them in, uh, just make sure that it does a pretty good job before you print it or you like it before you print it, uh, just because you can't change it after you print your image. Personally, I use the rotational tool other than the rotate tool, just because it lets me keep more of the picture and I'm not cropping the picture down. I'm actually just changing the uh, rotation of the image and then letting Snapseed fill in the rest. Well, I hope you learned something today. Again, this is a, a series, this is episode three of the, uh, the Snapseed um, quick tips that I've done. So I have the first two episodes in a playlist that's linked to this video. Uh, if you do like this video or like any other any of the other videos I've done, please give me a thumbs up. That really does help me out. If you have any questions or if I messed up anything, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I will definitely get back to you. Talk to you later. Bye.